With that down out of the way, Chris, what is our first main topic today? First, we're hearing from Devin Bell. What is your take on Stephen DeKnight possibly directing God of War movie? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And John, you already brought up that Stephen's known for Spartacus. Do you think he's a good fit for this? Yeah, so this this was a really interesting thing. This actually came up a number of days ago where Stephen S. DeKnight was actually talking a little bit. Now, Stephen S. DeKnight, who I will always be in his debt because he did do Spartacus, of course, which is my third favorite all-time series ever in television. He also, you know, did was a showrunner on Daredevil, which is great. Unfortunately, he also directed, you know, uh, Pacific Rim uh, 2, which not so good, which was not so good. So he's got a couple of wins, got a loss. Nobody has a perfect resume. That's fine. But anyway, he was talking a little bit about God of War. And look, not a lot of video games lend themselves to possibly be a great movie. I actually did a review a while ago of the God of War cutscene movie, like a 14 hour version of it. And I will tell you this. It may rival Rob, because often when we talk about video games that have really great cinematic potential right. and really, we'll often go to Last of Us we'll, for obvious reasons. We'll talk about Last of Us stuff like that. I'm telling you what, God of War, which one video game of the year, God of War may very well rival Last of Us or maybe even exceed as far as its narrative storytelling. I'm not talking about gameplay. I'm just talking about its pure narrative storytelling. It's immersive. It's got depth to it. The characters are all multidimensional. It's got an epic scope to it. It's got this great mythology to it. And when you get to the end of this story, you're like, what? And you want to see more. You want to see where it's going. Very, very few. Everybody says my favorite video game is very cinematic. Well, to a degree by video game standards. But there are a couple that truly are. And this is one of them. I'll tell you what. This video game would make a great movie. It would just flat out, if you just follow the story of the game, and I know everybody says that about their favorite games, and 95% of the time that's not true. But this one, you follow the story of this game, <clears throat> you just, by default, you have a really potentially great movie on your hands. Now, Stephen Knight was talking about it, and he said a couple of interesting things. One of the things he said was, yeah, I could totally see doing it. Dave Bautista would be a great uh, you know, lead for this, which I thought was interesting, but okay. He thought Dave Bautista would be a great lead for this. But he also started talking about it being rated R and all that kind of stuff. And this is what Stephen S. Knight had to say. He said the following. It's funny because when I sat down with Sony, the Sony PlayStation people, so he's obviously had conversations with Sony about this. One of the first things we both said is R-rated because I always use the original Conan the Barbarian as my touchstone that it needs to be R-rated. I don't think there is a way to tell that story and make it PG, nor should it be. And thankfully, because of Deadpool, people are much more willing to try that R-rated there uh, with genre work now and again, which he's completely true about. Uh, so yeah, without a doubt, R-rated. I mean, it's not as far as Spartacus, that was more NC-17, but definitely R-rated, he said in there. I'm going to tell you what, Rob, right off the top of my head, the first thing I'm going to do is disagree with Steven tonight. I don't think God of War needs to be R-rated. I'm cool with it being R-rated, but I don't recall a lot of stuff in that game that would require something above a PG-13. Like, whenever you do transformers with you know optimus prime can take out his sword and start chopping off the heads of decepticons that's fine because it's not human beings it's something different it's something sci-fi or mythological or whatever no problem and so it gets pg-13 i didn't see a lot of stuff in the god of war game that would require it to be rated r again i'm very curious if they do and i'm all for it if they do i just don't think it's required could steven s tonight do a good job on this god if, if he could do this the way he handled narrative in Spartacus, yes. Is it a guaranteed big hit? No. But if they were to announce tomorrow, Rob, that Stephen S. tonight, who's clearly already been talking with Sony, if they were to announce tomorrow that he's going to do it, I got to admit, I'd be excited about it. How do you feel about it? Well, I got to disagree with you because I want to see. Is it? I guess it would be about Kratos, right? Kratos. Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. I want to see bloodletting. I want to see axes and swords and dismemberment and disemboweling. I want to see a blood like in Conan. But if it's big, giant, mythological monsters, you can do that without it needing to be rated R, right? Like, couldn't you do all of that? I guess. I mean, like like Optimus Prime chopping off heads of but, Transformers. Yeah, but yeah, I, I just think that if you're going to have that kind of violence, though, because look, metal on metal is one thing, but flesh on flesh, even if it's mythological flesh, 
once you show people getting their members dismembered, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the 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 uh, uh, it, it gets. I think you it would get an R for violence. I mean, I don't see it being sexual necessarily. It wouldn't push NC seventeen, but you know that kind of violence. It's gonna get. It's there's gonna be a lot of bloodletting because it isn't just mythological creatures. It's probably people too. Yeah, I, I guess maybe I see. I think you and I want to see the same thing. It's just that you're thinking for them to give us what you and I want to see, that puts an R on it. And I'm thinking an MPAA may still just give it a PG thirteen. Maybe but, I mean, but you know, maybe not. You might be right though. Like maybe with the sheer amount of it, and maybe if they do it with more human beings, and and look, I wouldn't put it by them putting some sexual content. I and mean, if you're going to get R. What's stopping you? Yeah, I mean, I, look, it's if you're going back into the, the ancient times, why not? But I, but I think that really, it always comes down to me. It has to be a great story and a yeah. great character. At the end of the day, you can have all the bloodletting and sexual activity you want, but if the character is not great and the story is not great, you just don't care. Right. No matter how much bloodletting and fornication they throw at you, give me a great character. I want to see that character become an indelible character. I want him to be the. The what he, I, I want him to be a combination of all the great characters, but in that realm. I, I don't think we've ever been given the last time I was that interested was Jason the Argonauts, and I think I was six. <laughs> so I want to see the definitive look at this film. I want it to be gritty, not like Clash of the Titans with the whole thing was CG. I, I want to see something that's raw and 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 present and bloody. Well, if they can follow the story of the game, they've got a lot of potential. Guys, what do you think about this? Number one, do you think a God of War movie could work? And secondly, what would you think, you know, if, if all the signs point to this, what would you think if a Stephen DeKnight was actually directing and helming something like this? Do you think that's something that raises the potential? Or is it something that concerns you? Jump down in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.